Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Alam, and today is February 27th. And I'm Cannon. Reporting from Room 218, this is your morning news. previously thought. It was commonly thought that Earth took tens of million years to form. However, recent theories have proven that collision clumps have occurred earlier in our solar system than thought. In short term, analogies of the solar system took place in a day Earth would have been forming in, in the first two and a half minutes instead of the first 10 to 15 minutes. They are calling youngly theorized Earth proto-Earth. Not all organisms have to breathe oxygen. It was discovered that a parasitic organism that lives in the muscle tissue of pink salmon does not breathe oxygen. The parasite is only 10 cells long and exists as a single entity. It gets its nutrition from taking glucose directly from the pink salmon cells. Due to the parasite's aggressive way of feeding, scientists have titled it Heneguia salmonicola. The parasite's ability to survive without any re respiration makes it one of Earth's only breathless animals. Temperatures in Eagle Island, Antarctica, reached 65 degrees last week, equal to the temperatures in Los Angeles. The island lost 20% of its snow in a nine-day time frame. In one photo, there are patches of blue, which are puddles of melted ice. Over the past 50 years, temperatures have risen 5 degrees Fahrenheit in Antarctica, according to Elon Musk, graduate of University of Pennsylvania Physics. If the temperature in Antarctica goes up 4 more degrees, places like New York could seriously be threatened. However, it is important to note that more data needs to be collected in order to examine whether this was a random event or a new climate pattern. Attention juniors, SAT school day will be on March 4th. Please be sure to log into your College Board account to make sure your information is up to date. And make sure to bring picture ID for identification. Attention, students who need to meet the Algebra 1 EOC graduate requirement, retakes will take place next week, Monday, March 2nd, and Tuesday, March 3rd. An email will be sent to those who are on the list at this time. For questions, stop by room 106. Graduation rehearsal is May 14th at 8 a.m. in UCF. Seniors must attend rehearsal in order to participate in the graduation ceremony. For questions, see Ms. Diener in room 360. Chalk the Walk is next Friday, March 6th. Sign-up sheets are available in room 802 and are due no later than Monday, March 2nd. We are excited to see all the artists in action that day. Sophomores and juniors, this announcement is for you. If you've ever thought of getting involved with student government, now's the time to act. Your voice needs to be heard. SGA needs excited, positive, hardworking officers who want to learn how to become a better servant and a leader. If you're interested in running for a junior class or senior class position next year, please go to room 254 during A or B lunch Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. No experience is needed and all are welcome. Need help with math? Don't forget the Math Honor Society offers tutoring every Tuesday and Thursday during lunch in the Media Center and after school in room 373. Come as often as you need. All levels are welcome. Need balance, flexibility, and strength in your life? Come to Yoga Club today after school from 245 to 345 in Ms. Miller's room 314. Flexibility and experience are not required. All are welcome. In sports news, the boys lacrosse team has a home game against Lake Nona tonight. JV at 6 and Varsity at 730. There's also a tennis home meet today starting at 3.30 against Boone. The girls lacrosse team and varsity baseball have away games today as well. Good luck, Wildcats. Well, that's all, Wildcats. I'm Alum, signing off. And I'm Cannon, and this has been your Earth Day Thursday News. Three, two, one. Don't forget to vote for Ella Grace. See the QR codes around campus and on screen.